Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, it is so great to meet you. Thank you for joining us on this journey. And if you are an, an OG on the channel, thank you so much for joining me yet again. So, as promised, um, I am doing a reading for twins in union or um, in communication and who and those of you or those of us that really feel like you're in a very good place and that union is quite imminent. OK, this is going to be a mirror reading for you guys. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the most popular readings I offer. A lot of people are really enjoying this reading. I love this reading myself. I love doing it. It's really clear and concise and is very, very helpful. And so I'm um, because I want to start reading for twins that are actively in union or like very, very close to it or like in communication, in healthy, beneficial communication with their twin, I felt like the best way to do this reading for you guys was to um, do it in this mirror format. So um, I have two tarot decks here, the Tarot Apocalypsis deck, which I have been using frequently lately, and I'm also using now the Book of Shadows Tarot. Um, I have had this deck for some time, I just, just now started uh, working with it. It does contain two different decks, As Above, So Below, and the theme of this deck is, uh, both of these decks are as um, around paganism and witchcraft. So I'm going to be using the uh, as uh, the So Below deck because that is the closest to the traditional um, tarot depictions and that will give me the ability to do this mirror reading, okay? Um, so this deck on the left, the Tarot Apocalypsis deck, is going to symbolize the energies of the Divine Masculine. And the uh, Book of Shadows Tarot is going to symbolize the energies of the Divine Feminine. After that, I'm going to pull an emo uh, relationship reading from the Animal Spirit deck. Love this deck, guys. It's like my absolute favorite right now. And then I'm also going to be finishing out the reading with one Oracle card from the Crystal Mandala deck you find over there. Okay, so let's get into this. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for... All twin flames that are actively in union are in healthy, beneficial communication and or are in the process of coming into union very, very soon. Please bring forward the best messages for twin flames in this position at this time. Thank you so much, Spirit. So we're going to start with the uh, shuffling up the decks and channeling the energy for the Divine Masculine, okay? So, Spirit, please... Please uh, bring give bring forth a the best representation of divine masculine's energy in this time, and how it's relating to the divine feminine. Thank you so much, Spirit. Divine masculine. First of all, um, the yeah the magician caught my eye, and now the seven of wands is catching my eye. So the Divine Masculine is very much in a state of manifestation, and he's a little bit defensive about it, but it's not a bad thing. He's just, he's just standing his ground in relation to this union, to this relationship. Oh, and please understand, when I say he or she, I'm speaking to the energies and not gender, okay? All right, Divine Masculine, one more shuffle for you. Okay, and then we're going to cut the deck. I do want to say that as I'm connecting to these energies, I feel a lot of joy um, just in the fact that I'm doing this at, at all. And this was influenced because someone mentioned that there aren't many readings for those in union. And so I'm very happy in, in wanting to expand um, how I'm of service to people. I'm very happy to do this for you guys, even though I'm not in union myself. Um, you know, I do feel it coming closer. But for those of you that need guidance that are in union... I am so very happy to bring this forward for you. So, Spirit, please bring forward the best representation of the Divine Feminine's energy at this time and how it is interacting with the Divine Masculine. Thank you so much, Spirit. Divine Feminine. And actually... That joy that I'm doing this reading right now is mostly coming from the Divine Masculine. I feel like 
The divine masculine has a lot to say right now. So I'm excited to see what these messages are going to be. Divine feminine, divine feminine, divine feminine. Okay. One more shuffle for you, divine feminine, and then I will cut the deck. And then we will start with your energy. Yes? Okay. Divine feminine. I see you. You're in there. Yep. All right, Divine Feminine. So we're going to start with your overall energy. We have the Nine of Wands, Perseverance. Um, for you guys, I'm feeling, I just heard the struggle is real. <laughs> but the struggle we're talking about here is this divine work, this divine um, mission that we're on. Uh, things are really challenging. Things have been very, very challenging lately, especially with this uh, Mercury in retrograde that we just came out of. 555 on the counter. Change is coming, guys. Change is coming. Um, so this is you persevering. This is you pushing through the resistance of the people around you in order to anchor this love and light into the world, yeah? We also have, ah, the Eight of Pentacles, doing the work, being a, a, a student of life again, even, learning new things, um, developing and honing your craft, uh, doing your spiritual work. There is a lot of creative energy around this Eight of Pentacles. We also have <laughs> the Ace of Cups, more, who's texting me? Sorry, guys, I'm busy. <laughs> the Ace of Cups, that's so beautiful. And finally, the Four of Wands. You guys, I mean, I'm so happy for you right now. This is a lot of really beautiful energy. What I'm picking up for you, Divine Feminine, is um, this Mercury in retrograde has really helped put a lot of thing into focus for you. And so now you're at a chance, you're at a state where you can really do, you can really, if you thought you were being of service before, honey, boo boo chow, you are really of service now and you're loving it. Do you see how joyful this, the, this woman's face is? And then you've got this ace of cups. This is why you're so joyful because you have found a new way or a better way to fill your cups to, um, to find emotional fulfillment. And this is not just for you. This is for the people you are in service of. And that is so beautiful. Congratulations, Divine Feminine. That's really fantastic. So let's get into your storyline here. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay. So brand new spiritual um, understanding and um, inspiration. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. I know this is so rude. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to, I'm, <laughs> I just did a personal reading and people are just blowing me up left and right, but you know what? Y'all got to wait. <laughs> so Ace of Wands is really talking about this brand new inspiration you found. You have, um, you have a new understanding, you have a newfound direction. And if it's not a brand new direction, if it's not like really just a brand new thing, it's a new way to go about it, okay? And that's really wonderful. Uh, with the emperor, hey, look, y'all, ladies and gentlemen of, of divine feminine nature, you are doing it. You are in control, you are powerful, you are focused, you are ready, you are taking the bull by the horns and you are riding forward. This is great. Um, this is really, this is really a confirmation that you're, you're, if, if you were feeling at all unclear about your mission work and, and if you're doing the right thing, you're doing the right thing. Okay. If you felt like in the past you weren't doing the right thing, then now what's coming forward is that you've come to a greater understanding of your situation and what you really want to and need to be doing. And now you're moving forward in a better direction. Yes. We have next the King of Pentacles in reverse with uh, the Ten of Swords. So for those of you that are working towards union, not necessarily in union yet, the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Swords is saying you are releasing this um, this old depiction of your divine masculine. And this is actually a message that really needs to come forward, especially for those of us that are in separation. I can't remember if that came through. I think it did come through in that message for twins in separation. 
But for those of you that really feel like union is imminent, this is why. Because you are no longer viewing your divine masculine in this twisted negative space or way. You are no longer focusing on the representation of your divine masculine that you have been experiencing in your life uh, in the, in, so far. And now you're focused on what you really truly want, which would be the King of Pentacles upright, which would also be the King of Cups upright. Yes, emotionally available, connected, grounded, stable, um, has his own work to do, knows his mission, um, knows his place in this world and his his purpose in this world and is actively moving towards it. These are the ways that you are seeing, and, and, and to be honest, how you would need to see your divine masculine in order to manifest that which you truly desire, that, that version of him or her that you really want. And so you feel union coming to you because you have released it. Okay, you've released this view of your divine masculine with the Ten of Swords, right? Excellent work, people. Next, we have the sun in reverse with the two of wands. Okay, so look, there are some things that you are still trying to manifest. It isn't quite here yet, Divine Feminine, but the sun in reverse is saying you may not see it yet, but it's coming. And it's coming because you are doing the work. Now, there also may be a choice that you need to make um, if you already not, or if you're not already faced with this, um, you you could potentially be faced with this in the future. Oh, and please let me. I, I'm so sorry. I did not say this in the beginning, but please understand that this is a general reading. Okay, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. But. Um, and I feel like for you, divine feminine, um, this choice that you're needing to make is in relation to the Ace of Wands that came up, okay? Um, and, and the sun is in reverse because you're kind of like, oh, oh no, I don't really know which, I don't really know which way to go. I'm, that's what I'm picking up for a lot of you. It's like, I know, I know I have this reignited passion um, and, I, and I've come to a, a greater understanding of things, but I just don't know which way to go. And so it's kind of clouding things up a little bit. It's like you you have, you have came to this realization, but now you're being faced with a choice in how to actualize it. And it's, it's, it's making you a little uneasy. But the sun, in, the sun is saying, the sun is still here. It may be reversed, but it's just that you're just not quite seeing things yet. But that's okay. That is quite okay, all right? Moving forward, finally, we have the 10 of cups in reverse with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Very interesting. Um, give me a second here. Let me just look into this and channel this a little bit. Um, this is really talking about some past energy, okay? There has been illumination here for some divine feminines about maybe false twins. I think that's what this, yes, that is what this is talking about. Um, and I feel like, that now, now this is why this is coming up, because this is coming up for those of you divine feminines that really feel like union is imminent. And union is imminent in this sense because you have come to the realization that someone in your life may have been a false twin or it was probably a false twin or a false representation of the Ten of Cups that you're seeking. And I know that sounds confusing, but I, if I just found out that I have a false twin or I was interacting with a false twin or chasing after a false twin is what I heard, then why do I feel like union is imminent? I may not even know who my real twin is right now, who my real divine masculine is. Why is union imminent? Well, union is imminent because false twins come into our lives in order to illuminate certain aspects, in order to pr uh, prepare us for actually coming into uh, union with our actual twin. So even if you may not have met your true divine masculine yet, it is imminent. It's coming forward. And then, and once, and now you're in a better place to actually allow this to come forward. Yeah. Excellent. 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 Next, let's get on to the divine masculine. Overall energy We've got the King of Pentacles. So look at you, Divine Masculine. You are rooted. You are grounded. You are ready to go. You are doing this. You have accepted this. You have taken the charge. And you're doing what it is you need to do to be physically ready. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. There it is, the emperor. Welcome, Divine Masculine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I oh, God. Guys, this reading, I'm loving this right now. We have, yes, we have the Hanged Man in reverse, and we also have the Four of Cups in reverse. So, yes, Divine Masculine. So, okay, um, this is for mostly, we're speaking to twins that are not necessarily in union. Now, actually, I'm just being, I'm being corrected. Um, this is also for twins that are, that are in union because there have been some situations in which there was like a bit of a hang up. There was, there was like a big, of a, a bit of a pause here. There was some questioning as to what, whether this was really right. Um, there was a little bit of holding back of the emotions, being a little bit aloof, uh, distant, um, um, uh, I'm picking up like wrapped up in the emotions and not being able to uh, act on some sort of offer or opportunity that was coming forward for you. But with the hanged man in reverse and the four of cups in reverse, I'm really picking up that divine masculine. You are accepting your reality. You are accepting what is in front of you and you're owning it and you're thriving with it. That's fantastic. I really love to see that. Moving forward with your storyline, divine masculine, we have... Ah, the nine of wands, and this is in reverse. So, um, and now, okay, so good. We're, we're mirroring. That's a good thing. Um, we're, well, actually, we've been mirroring <laughs> with the king of pentacles here. And it's so funny because the mirroring that's happening is one is upright on one end and the one is reversed on the other end. So I feel like with the nine of wands in reverse, for you, divine masculine, you're giving up, you have given up the fight that was no longer beneficial for you. I feel like you were in a mode where you were persevering with something that you thought was right, but now you've come to the realization that you don't wanna fight for that anymore and you're letting it go. And we have that with the Princess of Swords, the Page of Swords. So yes, what you're letting go of, Divine Masculine, is a, um, and I say this, I, I don't mean this to be derogatory or offensive, but the word that's coming through is juvenile. A juvenile um, or, or uh, uh, unawakened, in some sense, form of thought patterns or beliefs around this situation. Um, this also could be speaking to some of you have were like investigating or, or trying to figure something out, gathering information about a certain thing that you were still fighting for and striving towards. But now that you've come to a certain realization, you have received the, in the sufficient information that you need to really be able to, to let go of whatever you were fighting for and, and move away from it. Okay. And that's a good thing. Next. We have, ah, the Knight of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is there was a bit of uh, warlike energy, and we're talking about whatever it is that you were needing to release, Divine Masculine. Um, you were you were fighting very hard, striving very hard for it. For it. But now the Knight of Swords is reversed here. But the other thing is that the Ten of Wands is reversed as well. So I feel like you're still having a little bit of trouble in releasing something, in releasing this. And if and if and, and that's mostly because you're in the beginning stages of releasing this. You have literally just recently come to the to terms with needing to say, okay, yeah, I can honestly say that I don't want to fight for this anymore. So I'm gonna release it. But because you have literally just come to that decision, now you're in the process of releasing it. So it's just like this, it's like, because energy, um, there are no definitive start and end points of energy. Energy just flows. So in a good example of how that is, how we can experience that is with uh, moon cycles and um, uh, planetary cycles. Like we just came out of the Mercury in retrograde yesterday on April 15th, but we're still moving through the shadow aspect of that. So for the next few days of, I want to say like about five days or so, we're still going to be in this shadow aspect of this uh, Mercury in retrograde. So you'll still feel a little bit of the energy. And that's what's happening here with you, Divine Masculine. You have made the decision to let this go, but you're still trying to work your way through it, okay? You're in the beginning of stages of letting this go. So that's, don't, don't, don't fear, okay? You'll get through it, I promise. Next, we have <laughs> the Page of Pentacles. I'm not sorry, the, not the page, the, the knight. Or in this deck, it's it's depicted, it says the 
uh, the Prince of Pentacles. And that is clarified or coupled with the Three of Swords in reverse. So, again, we're talking about what it is that you're releasing. Now, this was a bit of a struggle for you. This was pretty heartbreaking for you. Um, striving so hard to maintain whatever it is you felt you needed to maintain was heartbreaking. It was causing you to, um, to experience Three of Swords energy, okay? But, thankfully, you're moving out of it. Now, like I said before, you're in the beginning stages of moving out of it, and you're moving quite slowly. The Knight of, of, of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. But here, this is a good thing because you're being methodical about it. You're being logical and grounded about it. You are making sure to move through this at a pace that will allow you to really put this to rest so that you... Do not have to deal with this over again, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is a master blueprinter and is is, is uh, an energy that will not leave any stone unturned. And that is exactly what you're doing right now. And honestly, I continue to encourage that within you because we don't want to find ourselves slipping back into old patterns. We really want to learn the lesson as, effect as efficiently and effectively as possible so that we don't, so that we can move forward and not have to experience this again. So I am very proud to say that you are doing the right thing here, Divine Masculine. Finally, in your storyline, we have the Five of Pentacles and we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting, five and six. There was, in whatever situation it is we were talking about here, there was an imbalance. There was an, an imbalance between give and take. There was an imbalance between uh, in you giving to this situation and not receiving adequately. And as a result, it left you feeling uh, lack or out in the cold. It could also be the other way around. Um, this Now, this could be for twins that are... Um, you know, in a healthy form of communication, uh, or at least moving towards union, or those that feel union is imminent. Um, divine masculine, it could be that what you are releasing here is this imbalance of give and take in the sense that your divine feminine was just giving, 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 and you weren't really giving anything back to her. And so now um, you... Yes, yes, I'm really feel, And this actually came up in a reading that I picked up that I was watching earlier this morning with the Four of Cups in reverse, you're starting to see the error of your ways in this situation. And you're starting to see how you've been a little too self-centered in some ways and how you've been missing out on an opportunity because of this imbalance of give and take. And I'm also feeling like some of you Divine Masculines are really starting to feel the Five of Pentacles energy um, that your Divine Feminine was going through. And that's also helping. That could be the information that came forward um, that allowed you to say, oh, wow, I really can release this now. I really can release this now. Yeah. Something I just realized here, underneath the deck, another form of mirroring, even though it's not the same card or the same, even the same suit, the Divine Feminine has the Four of Wands underneath everything, and the Divine Masculine has the Four of Cups underneath everything. So... This is really cool, guys. I, I can tell you, I love, I really, really love this reading. It's so much fun. Okay, let's get into the relationship aspect from the Animal Spirit deck, y'all. Yeah? Y'all. Yeah. Okay, Spirit, please bring forward the best messages for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine in relation to their relationship, y'all. Yeah? Okay, so um, I'm gonna put this intention out there. This reading is is designed now. It came from it came from the book with the deck, and I do like to do it in um, the way that the the book has it laid out. But because I'm doing this for divine feminine and divine masculine, an overall reading, I'm gonna change the position of these cards a little bit. Um, <clears throat> the way it's pulled is the first card here, which is going to be on the left, would symbolize the energy of the querent. The card on the right, the second card, would symbolize the energy of the person, the other half of this relationship. But I'm going to do it reversed. I'm going to do, because we don't necessarily have, I mean, yes, the Divine Feminine is the querent mostly when it comes to these readings. But for the sake of the balance, um, I'm going to put the energy of the Divine Masculine in the first card, which is going to be on the left, and the energy of the Divine Feminine on the right, which is the second card, okay? 
Just wanted to put that um, intention out there. Now, if you were to order a, uh, a private reading with me and you want to do the mirror reading, I would put the energy of the querent on the left. So that most likely would be the divine feminine, okay? Just for greater clarity so you understand where my thought process is here. Okay. Let's give a few more shuffles here. Okay. So, what do we have here for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine energy, you are, you are represented by Fire Ant. Ooh. Divine Feminine, you are represented by Butterfly. Aw, transformation. <laughs> the third card is the, uh, shadow as the Shadow Dynamic, that is Elk. The Illuminated Dynamic, or the fourth card, is Panther. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, guys, this feels good. This really does feel good. <laughs> Give me just a second here. Let me put these cards away. All right, so Divine Masculine, your energy right now is depicted by Fire Ant. Okay. So let's read that. And I absolutely, I, I think I always want to, unless, I mean, it's going to be some time before I really know these cards like the back of my hand. But I, even still, I still would want to carry the book around just because the, the, the way that these cards and the meanings are described is just so perfect sometimes. So fire ant, aggression, rigid thinking, following orders. Fire ant energy flares up without us noticing. It's the force that attracts us to people and situations that feed our imbalances rather than those that counter them. Gossiping and blaming are a few indicators that misaligned fire ant energy is at play. You may also find yourself stewing on a person or situation, only making things worse. How can you break free from the drama and cool down? Fire ants are surprisingly sensitive. Don't pretend the heat isn't getting to you. When in balance, Fire Ant is thoughtful and disciplined. When out of balance, Fire Ant argues, uh, experiences ex excess heat and gossips. To bring into balance, uh, one must have some solar solo time or walks at night. So Divine Masculine, this is definitely speaking to um, this process of moving away from something that you're releasing. Um, and it's being represented by Fire Ant because of the gossipy nature that's coming forward. Uh, as a whole, you're not so much gossiping. There are some of you that are still getting caught up in this gossipy energy. Um, but what I'm feeling like is that you just talking to friends and venting. It's not necessarily like you're trying to gossip or talk shit about anybody. It's just that you're kind of trying to vent right now. Um, you feel a lot of anger and resentment even, uh, a lot of passion and fire for what has been recently illuminated to you, what you learned recently, the, and the information that you've finally been able to gather. And that's starting to drum up some fiery energy within you. Um, it's just... It, this is also more of a caution just to not to really give in to gossip. You know, you're, it's, you are absolutely, you are absolutely encouraged to seek help from friends. Just be careful how you speak about any other people or any other situation. Try to, um, keep as much compassion and understanding in the thought, in the thoughts and feelings that you're conveying. Okay. It's really about venting here, not talking shit about people, right? Okay, Divine Feminine, you got Butterfly. So pretty. <laughs> Guys, I love this deck. Just the way the cards feel in my hand is just, they're so well, there's the quality of the cards is just beautiful. Okay, Butterfly, undergoing great change and transformation. Yeah, actually, we were talking about that, weren't we? The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is the element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships, or if you love your job, perhaps your career. Since transition is accompanied by some amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon. 
committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer, done at the same place at, and time will do wonders for lifting a butterfly's spirits. When in balance, butterfly is cheerful and graceful. When out of balance, butterfly is fragile and frustrated. To bring into balance, one must adopt a daily routine. Honestly, guys, that speaks for itself. And we were talking about this, uh, Divine Feminine. You really are going through a transformation. And it was facilitated by this current Mercury in retrograde that we came out of. So good on you. Excellent, excellent work, Divine Feminine. And Divine Masculine, too. I don't want you to think you're not doing excellent work, too, because you really are. Next, we have Elk. And this is the shadow dynamic of uh, the relationship. <sighs> Mm, 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 mm. Elk. Stay oh wait, hold on, let me <laughs> let me show you the card here. Elk. <laughs> Alright. This is the shadow dynamic. Stable, resilient, headstrong, the father. The great elk represents the earth element in its masculine form. This means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's many changes. An elk personality, whether male or female, is fully established in themselves and knows their core values. They become known and respected for acting in ways that uphold those values. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated, but for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy, and that's exactly what we are here to bring into the world, isn't it, guys? Can I get an amen? <laughs> When in balance, elk is supportive, kind, and consistent. When out of balance, elk is pretentious, high, and mighty. To bring into balance, uh, one must eat and drink more consciously. So this is absolutely beautiful to see in this position because this is absolutely talking about both uh, partners, divine masculine and divine feminine. We are all embodying this elk energy and it is absolutely helping bring us into union or to further solidify our unions and to help us push forward on our, um, our spiritual journeys, which is excellent. All right. And finally, the illuminated aspect is panther. Panther. I love panthers. I mean, I'm a, I'm a dog person and a cat person, but if I, oh, I love big cats, love big cats. Okay, panther, annihilation of the unnecessary, purging. The panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. Instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us towards more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating, but after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences, and they've made us better people. Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. When in balance, panther is brave and productive. When out of balance, panther is self-destructive. To bring into balance, one must get rid of the unnecessary. And so the divine, both the divine feminine and the divine masculine are actively going through this right now, this transformation and this change. But um, for the divine masculine, it's a little rougher. <laughs> it's definitely a little rougher right now than it is for the divine feminine. But that's really only because the divine feminine has gone through some really rough periods in the past. And so now the divine feminine has elevated her vibration to a state where now she is helping elevate the divine masculine's um, power. I just looked at this emperor card here and I saw my twin's face. That was funny. Um, but it's helping raise the divine masculine's vibration. And so now they're in a moment where they're trying to, where they're really going through some rough stuff. But it's okay. It's all okay because we are all loved and supported by the universe. We will get through this. All right, spirit. Let's close out this reading with one message for the divine masculine and divine feminine in relation to this reading uh, from the Crystal Mandala deck, please. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, one card, please, spirit. One card, please, spirit. One card, this one. Sacred Revolution. Oh my. 
Ooh. <laughs> wow, that feels really strong. And to be quite honest, it fits exactly with what we were talking about here. There is absolutely a revolution going on. There is a huge change. And it's starting within our personal lives. It starts on the individual level. And as we all go through this change and grow and experience and expand, we help facilitate that expansion for everyone around us, okay? So let me get into the, the meaning in the book here. All right. Goddess Kali and Black Obsidian, Sacred Revolution. We bring you the empowerment of sacred revolution. Revolution comes when a cycle of authority or power is ending. It has become inadequate for the task of leadership now required, and a new order must be established in its place. It is not simply a chapter within a book drawing to a close, but, ent but an entirely new book, perhaps an entirely new genre, opening up according to divine will unfolding. In such cases, subtle change is not going to cut it. You need radical action to bring about the new order. Then that new order may be in your world or in your own being. When revolution is sacred, the new order will be that which allows you to become more of yourself and successfully attain your spiritual goals. I mean, honestly, I don't even really know if there's anything more I should say about it because it literally just put the icing on the cake of what we have been discussing here. All right, guys? So, there it is. Thank you so much for joining me for this reading. I, I, I'm, I mean, I feel so good about this right now. This has brought me so much joy to be able to bring these messages for you guys. Um, and I will be continuing to do this reading, this, this uh, weekly reading, this weekly discussion for you guys moving forward. If you would like to order this really reading for yourselves, I highly encourage it. It's very beneficial, as you can see. Um, it's very illuminating. It helps you really understand what's going on between you and your your divine partner. Yeah. All right, guys. Much love to you. I wish you all well in the current current coming week, and I look forward to our next discussion next week. Much love. Take care. Bye bye.